Hello, this is the Queen Who Care Cares for You. Hello, 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 family. Hello, YouTube family. I tell you, I am so glad to be on here tonight. It has been a while since I have made a video. Happy New Year's. Happy uh, Black uh, History Month. And I hope that everybody is in good health, doing well, and everything is going you guys' way. And I tell you that you are on your way to a very abundant and prosperous year. And you are continuously to, to stay focused. And no matter, and I, you know, like I say, no matter what it looks like, smell like, taste like, just know that good is walking your way every day of your life. No matter what's going on around you. Don't worry about the COVID. Like I say, keep wear your mask, keep your six feet distance, and just be safe at all times. No matter if you are vaccinated or not, just continue to wear your mask and keep your six feet distance and watch your surroundings and just can stay focused, have, be positive and continue to be around positive people doing positive things and just uh, just be happy and grateful that you're living in such a time as this and even though it seems slim and dim and they're talking about walls and all this kind of stuff just know that it won't happen in your lifetime just believe that just believe that you just believe that the best is going to happen for you and you know what? All this we going through, this is just, all these things that we're going through, it's truly, um, it's working out in our favor. Just believe that. No matter what it seems like, it all is working in your favor. Just know that. No matter what it look like, smell like, taste like. I love to say that. Because you know what? We look at things and we just think, you know, oh, everything is slim and dim. Um, you know, we uh, we got to wear masks all the time. We can't really travel like we want to. I mean, how long is this going to be happening? I mean, it's just like, you know, everybody's just in a chaos and one virus coming after another and another and another. Every time you turn around, different virus, virus is coming out. Every time I talk to somebody, oh, you know, this virus is coming out, that virus is coming out. But you know what? These people just making up all this stuff. Oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't even be saying that <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> they might take down my video, but anyway, I'm sorry. But anyway, all this stuff coming out. Coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. But anyway, don't worry about all that stuff. You just, like I say, you just continue with your mask and keep your six feet distance and you will be okay. Because you know what? I'm going to tell you something. And wearing that mask is very important. And I have proved it for myself. Because you know what? Um, my cousin had a little gathering. He had a Christmas gathering at his house. And that was on Christmas Day. And um, I, at the, I had my grandkids with me. They came to stay with me for um, over the holidays, uh, two weeks. And um, we went to that gathering. And none of us had on masks. Uh, I just was so excited about, you know, getting there. I was running late and completely forgot, you know, I could have went back in my car. But then when I got up there and started talking to my cousin and, um, you know, other uh, friends and stuff like that and family, I just completely forgot. Didn't have my mask on. But, you know, that was a, I'm saying, I think that was on a Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember. But I know that Monday when I came back home, my my granddaughters, they were saying, oh, grandma, my throat is itchy. And, you know, lucky I went and got some uh, over-the-counter medicine. I, I think it was Dayquil I got from, and I took some myself. But um, my throat was scratches too. To my little granddaughter, I think she was like stuffy and head hurting for like maybe one whole day. But the next day, after I gave her that day quill and gave her some uh, soup and tea and all that kind of stuff. When I came home from work, I think around about Tuesday, she was like, oh, grandma, I feel better now, which I was glad. And my other granddaughter, she had a little scratchy throat, but it went away as well. Like I say, theirs didn't last no more than a day or so. But I tell you, I tell you. I, I, I didn't have Corona or anything. I, I truly believe I didn't have Corona. I didn't have none of the symptoms or nothing like that. 
I didn't lose no taste or didn't lose no smell or nothing like that. But I did have a bug. And that bug, the bug was me, you know, like my nose was, you know, a little stuffy and my and cold kept coming up out, you know, out my you know, I kept I kept coughing up cold, but at the same time I was drinking um lemon lemon and water. I kept on drinking that drink. That probably was that probably was having bring the cold up as well, the mucus and everything. But I tell you what, I was sniffy for a whole darn month. Whatever bug, somebody had a bug in that apartment, they had something. They it, they had well, they had some kind of head cold, chest cold, whatever the case may be. I'm not even gonna say corona, because you know what? Everybody walking around here coughing and sniffing and all that do not have corona. Everybody, you know, they just think that I mean, my goodness, it, that's the only kind of, that's the only thing you hear about these days, corona, corona, corona. You don't hear about nothing else. They act like nothing else exists these days. No other sickness and disease don't exist, nothing but corona. You turn the news, corona, corona. You go to the uh, the grocery store, corona, corona, corona. You go to everywhere you go, it's corona. I mean, you got all these um, corona little stations where you take shots and stuff all around and on every corner now. <laughs> Oh my God! I live here in Atlanta, and I tell you, just like you see uh, Waffle Houses and and and, and um, Chick Fil A's on every corner, it look like they got them sought up on every corner as well. I mean, it's just a regular thing now to see a little uh, corona uh, uh, a little corner tent corona station where you test that. I mean, it's just all over the place. I can't understand how we've been dealing with all uh, flus and everything and, and all kind of else sickness and disease. And y'all ain't concerned about that, but y'all just concerned about this. I tell you, I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. But I tell you, family, like I say, just stay safe. Keep your six feet deep. And please wear that mask because wearing that mask is very, very important. And not only wear one mask, step it up to two and three masks. That's what I do now. It all depends on where I'm going. If I'm going somewhere, you know, <clears throat> lightweighted, you know, maybe like if I'm going to get my nails did, I might have one on or what. But if I'm going to grocery stores and the the more the more places the the more places the peoples are, that's where y'all need to that's y'all need to have more masses on. If you going into a cra- going to the grocery store and going to the mall and all them places, you need to wear three masses, you know, and try to wear those what they call it the N9s or whatever. Try to wear the best uh message that you can possibly get. Um, I don't know if how much uh Amazon said they say they're gonna be giving out some. Um, I heard on the news or some some place gonna be getting now they trying to send uh tests in the mail where you can get your corona kit, <laughs> your your COVID ten and test yourself and all that stuff. I tell you. I tell you, it's just too much going on, too much going on. But I tell you what, family, you just have to protect yourself. Like I say, continue wearing your mask. I cannot express that enough. Wear your mask. Don't do, don't go, excuse me, excuse me. Just like they say, don't leave home without it. Do not leave home without it. But um, family, I am so happy to be on here tonight. You know, I've just been putting this off. I've been working. I tell you, I've been doing, you know, trying to do my little businesses get situated with that i'm trying to, i was trying to focus in the month of january just lining everything up so the year can just flow the way it should be flowing with everything in place that's what i've been doing um so i just been focused on that but i know that i have to get back to my videos because i want to continue to uplift and encourage because with this um it just it seems like Every time I turn around, I'm hearing about suicide, suicide, suicide. And it's just so many black people now. You know, I, I have to be honest. It used to be, it did used to be a white person thing. You would hear nothing but a, not a black person taking their life. You, we only say, oh, you know, only white people do that and stuff or, and all that kind of stuff. But I tell you, I don't know what's going on in the air. I mean, people is dealing with different things and different depressions and all this kind of stuff and but I tell you, like I, I can't stress enough. I don't matter what you what you're going through in life, you should not take your life. I mean, you have more to live for than you possibly could know. I mean, you have people that love you. You have children. You have even if you don't have children, you have people that love you. They really love you. If you're going through something, reach out. They have eight hundred numbers where you guys can call and talk to a certified counselor profession. That can help you with any situation that you're going through. Don't just take it upon yourself and go somewhere and just 
um, in your life. That is not cool, and it's not cool at all, and I think it's a very selfish act. I think it's just, you know, it's, it's you know, you have to work it out. We, we are here to take bruises in life, to grow in life. We are here to learn and grow, and a lot of that learning and growing is going to be very painful. It's going to be unbearable, bearable, but it's not so unbearable to where you can need to go somewhere and take your life. Please reach out to somebody, call somebody, and let somebody know that what you're going through, cry out to someone. I don't care who it is. You can call me, and I, I'll be right there for you. Call me, email me. I'm, I'm gonna um, I, I'm gonna leave an email. You can call me a queen. I mean, email me at a queen who cares. A queen who cares. A as an apple queen, like Queen Elizabeth. Queen who w h o cares c a r e s at gmail dot com. And please do not hesitate to use that email. Uh, you can reach out to me. In the comments that you need to talk, uh, you know, we can, you know, you can call me. I leave a number or whatever for you can call me if I can just uh, help you to, uh, you know, get this, uh, off this disgraceful situation off your back. I can help. And one thing about me, I it's I'm a problem solver. I can pretty much solve any problem. No problem is not too too hard for me to solve. That's what I do. I, you know, motivate, encourage, and uplift. And I tell you, if you're going through any situation that you need somebody to talk to, to reach out, even if you can't talk to your mama, mother, sister, brother, whoever, a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, whoever, whoever you think you can't talk to, please reach out to me, and I will be glad to have a conversation with you, and we can talk as long as you need me to talk. And if you need me to talk to you next thing, next thing, next thing, let I keep on talking to you until you just feel uh, good enough um, and get yourself back to normal. Whatever the case be, we will work it out together. I will lead you to the help that you need to be with because I'm not a licensed counselor or anything like that. <laughs> but I tell you, I can help you to uh, get in touch with the person that you need to uh, talk, need to um, connect with. So please, 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 I beg, beg, I plead and I beg if you, anybody out there who's watching this video and you're going through any different situation, and it might don't be suicide, it might be somebody just going through, going through and you need somebody to talk to, just feel free to email me. It, everything is confidential. It will not be shared with anyone because I always say it, if a person trusts you enough to confine to you and talk to you and tell you things, you need to keep it to yourself and not share it with anybody. And I'm going to say it again. If a person trusts you enough to confine in you and to tell you their most deepest, darkest secrets or any given situation that might be going on with them, you need to keep it to yourself. So don't worry. That's that is what I am all about. That's this is the name of my business, a queen who cares, and I cares about every in any situation. So, just I just wanted to put that out there. Don't think that you know I'm just one of these people and say, "Oh goodness, you can you huh?" If you need to reach out to me, please reach out to me. I beg you to reach out to me because, like I said, that's what I'm all about. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm going to be. On, I'm going to be doing my videos. I'm I'm gonna shoot for a video, a, a 15 minute video every day. But if I don't make 15 minute video every day, it'd be every other day. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna shoot for that because I need to step the game up because there's so much going on in in this world in our lifetime and just so many people just need to have someone on here is real and true and has gone to different has gone through. Um, many cycles of different kind of lives, situations. So, like I said, I'm the things that I went through in my life, I would like to share and uplift and motivate you guys. So, hopefully, it's something that I have went through and you might be going through the same situation and contemplating on what you should do. Well, you know what? Something that um, you can make a decision on the video that you that, that you seen that I have uploaded because... Of 
what I have went through. You might be going through the situation or have been through the situation and know somebody or might know somebody that's going through a situation that I have already been through. But I tell you, I'm coming back and I'm coming back more powerful than before. And like I say, I am just happy and glad that I am back and I am going to continue to uh, make my videos and um, be focused and be persistent and do not let the spirit of procrastination sits in because you know when the spirit of procrastination sits in, you say you're going to do this, you're going to do that, and you never get done. You keep on finding things that gets in the way. And I tell you, we, and the only way that we're going to achieve in life, we have to just take our baby steps. As long as we're walking towards our goals and plans and we take our baby step, one day there'll be one big, that giant step. And before you know it, everything will be done. It will be the way that you sought out for it to be. But like I said, we have to take baby steps just like a baby. When it's first trying to walk, it's going to fall a thousand times. It's going to get all kind of bumps and bruises and bruises and bumps. But you know what? One day that baby going to stand up and it's going to walk straight to you with a big smile and you're going to be happy. So it's the same thing in life. We have to take baby steps. Whatever we set our goals and plans out to do, don't just try to think it's going to happen overnight. Don't think you can just take one big jump and it's all there. But it just takes time. Some It just takes time. And as you take those baby steps and you take one day at a time and you be focused and be persistent, like I said, before you know it, your goals and plans will have sprouted into a beautiful garden. That's just like when you plant, you go out there and plant your little seeds in your garden. You don't see no, you go out there and plant on the money. You you think you're going to go out there on Tuesday and see what you need, see what you have planted. Oh, go here go my corn I planted, here go my apples and tomatoes. Oh, I can go in the house. And, no, it's going to take a while for that, those seeds and stuff to sprout up and become beautiful um, vegetables and fruits that you can actually cook. So it takes time. So everything just takes time. So family, just don't be rushing and busting and Trying to wait, thinking things, you know, hey, with like, what things is now, take your time and do things. Take your time and start your business, but do be persistent every day. Be focused. Take your time. And, um, you know, you, you know, mothers out here, you got children that, you know, your kids, they need to be at home or whatever, learning. I mean, you um spending time with them. If you're able to um, be, you know, find something on the computer that you can work and all this kind of stuff, because you know what? I work. Two jobs. But you know what? I said to myself today, I was taking a shower and my spirit, my high self said, you know what, Tanya? What the money you making on one of them <laughs> jobs, maybe two of them, you can do that at home. <laughs> and I can be, you know, and that's what I'm gonna pursue. I'm gonna do look for something online that I can do home. That is my goal to work from home. So I can find, do something and where I can, that time that I spend going and coming to work, I can be doing something um, for myself. I can be home because I tell you, my goal is to work from home, be home, making my videos and being here for the, I, re- I want to be here for the people, you know, I want to be able to cook food and have a closet and to give out stuff and not, you know. I want my own queen who cares, 501C. So I have a lot of goals and stuff for myself and I'm trying to work on, but at the same time, I'm still going to try to focus and make these videos like I'm supposed to and be focused on that. But family, I'm just happy. You know, I'm happy that all of us made it in 2022. And you know what? Better years are coming. You know, I truly believe that this is not going to stay around for a long time. We're going to have to wear it out now. We... You know, it's been times in our life where we had pandemics, and a lot of us was, most of us was not here. We had a pandemic and had to wear masks. You do your research, you know, just Google and all this kind of stuff going YouTube. You will learn all this stuff. And it was time, but you know what? Things got back to normal. So, you know what? Things is will get back to normal. We're just going to have to be patient, just just like I was talking. Be patient and ride it out because things are going to be back to normal. We're going to be able to travel again. We're going to be able to go on cruise again. We're going to be able to do a whole lot of stuff again. We just have to sit tight and believe that the universe is working everything out for our good. Whatever you believe in, God is working it out for your good. Buddha working out for your good. Whatever you believe in, they're working out for your good. And just spend time in prayer and meditation and 
chanting and then whatever. All is the same when you look when you boil it all down to a meditation, prayer, whatever, and all this. All is the same. Whatever you want to do, whoever you serve, whatever your religion and beliefs in, just believe that the best is coming your way and things is working out for your good and the universe um, giving you favor to do everything that you need to do. I don't care what people say. They be oh, things getting bad, bad. Well, it might be getting bad in your world, but they ain't getting bad in mine. Oh, you don't ever, you never know what the next day gonna bring. Well, you might don't know what the next day gonna bring, but a queen who cares know what the next day gonna bring. You know why? Because I write it down in my journal. I listen to affirmations every night. I listen to affirmations in the morning. I write down in my journal how my day gonna go, so I know how my what's gonna what's gonna take place in my life. Y'all might be thinking, that lady's crazy, huh? <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> Everybody got a right to believe how they want to believe. Your, if, your, if you if you want to side with these people and say, well, you know what? Um, ooh, we, um, um, all our days short, you don't never know. Well, you know what? Y'all keep on following all that stuff because I ain't following none of it. I'm going to be here in 250 years with the option new in my right mind. And not just to say that I'm being actually 250 years, but I tell you what, the universe going to, hey, I'm going to be here uh, at least 120. <laughs> Trust me and believe. And y'all going to ask me what I've been doing. <laughs> but I'm going to be on him to break it all down to you. I'm sure it is. But anyway, family, I'm just happy. I'm, I can't stress enough how happy as I am to be back. And y'all see, I have my African in the tie on because this is Black History Month. But you're actually, every day is Black History Month to me because I tell you, our ancestors had did so much for us. They were sacrificed. They was tortured. They was abused. They died in the worst way that I'm, our minds can't even probably um, comprehend has a lot of them ancestors died. I tell you because they was tortured. They it it looked like the way the the some of the stories I heard how our ancestors died and how they was tortured and all this kind of stuff. It was like um they they just did it for amusement. They just wanted to see. It was it just was like a game to them. So I tell you, every day is Black History Month. Trust me and believe. Every day we deserve it. We deserve it. We deserve it. And um, right now I'm getting ready to end this video because it looks like it's going to blank out. And I'm going to do make another one. And I love you guys. And y'all just stay safe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace, love, and happiness.